what's going on guys so today we have another new card that dropped and it is moonstone so we're going to be doing a moon deck today wanted to try this out look pretty interesting so i'm sure a lot of you are uh, probably trying to build something very similar around what i'm doing here so uh we opted for a carl sagan build once again just seems like kind of one of the better fits for this uh and this is the new card here moonstone says, when played for every card in your deck with moon in the name, your cards with moon in the name wherever they are gain plus two permanently. So let's go ahead and take a look at all our cards that have moon in the name. Obviously, Moonstone itself. We have the moon, which says when drawn your oceans and seas cards gain plus four permanent. We don't have any of those, so basically a dead ability. We've got Exo Moon. When played, if your deck has three or more Moon in Motion cards, you're exploring the star cards wherever they are, gain plus 28 until played. So we do have a couple uh, exploring the stars, but not, not a ton. We didn't want to take too much advantage. I tried it with a couple uh, additional exploring the star cards originally in this build, but opted to take them out for some more powerful cards. As you can see down below, I subbed in like Black Hole, Matt Mons, Planet X, they they just seem to hit a little bit harder than the moons I had in in place of. Uh, so let's take a look. We also have Wolf Moon, again, a dead ability here, just strictly in for the moon. And these cards do get quite large, you'll see as I play. Even though even though the ability is basically null and void, you'll see these these the power on these cards from all the buffs do get quite big. Uh, so Hunter's Moon again, dead ability. Just in here for the name, along with Buck Moon. Uh, other Moon cards we have... Where are they? Do I have anything else? That might be it. So not a ton. We didn't go too crazy with it. Um, but again, opted. So we have the three Moon in Motion cards to trigger our Exo Moon, which again is going to buff down here our HD and Exo Moon itself. So a uh, couple, couple little... Uh, uh, buffers there for each other. We also have Grey Goo in this deck again. I've been liking this card a lot lately. Uh, you'll see uh, if your deck has nine or more science cards, which it does, nine of your random science cards, wherever they are, lose 10 until played, and then your non-science cards, wherever they are, gain plus 10 permanent. So all our moons, essentially, are going to get that plus 10 permanent, which we like. Lobotomy. So when draw nine of your random cards, wherever they are, lose 20 for three turns, but when returned, nine random cards are going to gain 20 until played. So we get that until played buff, which is nice. Rem Sleep, really good card in this deck. So when drawn, if you have played the moon this game, your cards in hand gain plus 22 and cost plus one permanently. So another nice permanent buff, which is going to make these cards really big into the late game. Um, with Moonstone dropping, it is a gemstone. So I opted for uh, Rose Quartz. It says, if played next to any hidden gems card, your science cards, wherever they are, gain plus 18 this round. So nice buff on our nine science cards there. Also added Peridot, just so in case I draw Rose Quartz without Moonstone. I have another option to uh, try to get Rose Quartz down on turn one, because obviously you want to play it turn one to take advantage of the entire round. So... Uh, just gives me another out in case I need it. That's the only reason I added Paradot, really. Uh, we do have Doppler Effect, just a great card for buffing our science cards, giving them a little discount on the for two turns, and then obviously we're going to try to play it back with a bunch of... Uh, when we don't have any extra science cards in our hand, so we don't get hit by that negative effect there. Planet X, you guys know this card, just a great card. If we have nine or fewer space cards, we're going to get that nice permanent 14 buff. Super massive black hole, uh, just a real heavy hitting card here for every non-space card in your deck. Give your space cards plus three until played. So we're going to get nice plus 27 until played buff on that. Uh, next up, HD. You'll see at the start, this card loses 50 until play. This is our real big heavy hitter. Card's going to come down and do some work when we play it. And finally, we've got Matt Mons. It's going to buff our space and science cards, plus 13 permanent. And that's all we care about with that. So that's the deck, guys. It's been playing pretty good. Let's go check it out and see it in action, see what you guys think. But overall, no complaints so far. I think I've lost 
one game with it, and it was a pretty heavy hitting deck I lost against, so not too concerned. But been winning pretty good with it. I am down in lower ranks right now, though, so could be a reason. Maybe up against some more top tier decks, this deck might not do as well. But I have had some pretty big turns with it towards the late game. I think I've dropped some 800-point rounds pretty consistently. I'm sorry, not round. 800-point turns. <laughs> I was going to say 800-point rounds pretty bad. <laughs> all right, here we go. Terrible Doppler there. Got our Matt Mons already online. That's good. And we drew our Planet X with Black Hole. So I'm going to do it like this. Let's get... Let's get all these down. Start taking advantage, getting those buffs right out the gate. Yeah, it looks like we're up against somewhat of a subpar deck here. Like a new player deck. So this should not be a difficult game, I have a feeling. As I say this, I'm going to just completely get stomped. That's usually how it goes. <laughs> new player deck comes in, just steamrolls me out of nowhere. All right, let's do, uh, let's see here, we got 15, let's go ahead and do 6, 4, and 5. Or should I hold, let me hold Peridot, actually, in case I draw into Moonstone, or I'm sorry, Rose Quartz, because I want to have something I can play it next to. Oh, I didn't think of the negative 15. Oh, that was misplay on my part. You guys are probably yelling at me like, no, don't do that! <laughs> Usually I'm pretty good about that too, of not doing that. But thought of something else and went with it. All right, let's get lobotomy down and, well. Yeah, I still want to play lobotomy, so let's just do that. We'll do it. We haven't seen Moonstone or Rose Quartz, so we're probably going to draw together anyway. And we're not really hurting any as it looks, so... Go ahead and uh, play that pair of that. Alright, we take round one. Of course, we draw Rem Sleep before we get a chance to play the Moon. That's unfortunate. Go ahead and do it like that. Opponent's deck. Not too sure what's going on there. Sh struggling to play three cards. All right, there's our Carl Sagan. Nice debuff there, or, or a discount on our cards. Like to see that. We did draw our Moonstone as well. So Rose Quartz probably on the horizon. Don't know that I want to wait though. I do want to get this down. Let's go ahead and do it like that. You can see these moon cards already getting quite large. Three for 122 base power. There's our rose court. So next turn. We'll go ahead and drop it out and get the effect. I think I can just get away with just playing these two, honestly. Don't think he can top that. <laughs> yeah, opponent's deck, definitely a newer deck, a new player deck, so he uh, I don't think he stands a chance this game, to be honest. Don't know why it's matching me against that type of deck, but... Oh, well. We'll take the win, I guess. Let's give him a little... Boom! Sunglass. Let's see if he says anything. I think it's probably a bot. I see the little hyphen there in the name. There's our Doppler.
All right, do it like that. Try to end this game so we can hopefully match up against something a little bit better. Really like to put my deck to the test, you know? There's our REM sleep trigger, nice plus 22 perm. Well, let's go ahead and drop Mons, he ain't winning. All right, that's gonna be game. Not even close. All right, let's go see if we can find somebody a little bit more our speed here. Don't know, again, I don't know why it matched us up that bad. I haven't been playing against decks like that, so that, that's kind of unusual that it threw me in there. Oh, Schmengar, my boy. Oh, right as you go off, come on. Well, it's two of them I played against. Uh, Vortex? Let's see if somebody else wants to kick my butt today. All right, let's do it. Mr. Vortex. Let's see that top tier deck on the table. I've kind of gotten away from playing a lot of you guys, especially on video. I feel like most of the time everybody wants to bring their best deck to me. And, uh, you know, I hate losing all the time, so... <laughs> Especially with these weird decks. Hello. Good to see you. Good to see you. What do we got here? We can do we can do it like oh, oh actually let's do it like this. Or no, we need to play HD, don't we? Let's play HD down. Get, get it cycling. Okay, he's playing immortals. We know that's a strong deck. A lot of people running up dragon with immortals right now. Maybe this will put, put me to the test a little bit. Here's our Paradox. Carl Sagan, nice. Hmm. So if I did that... Do I want to do it like that? Or do I want to cycle better? Mm. Yeah, let's do it like that. Sorry, decisions. Really want to get that moonstone down, get that perm going. All right, we got 17. Struggling a little bit on energy. Planet X. And what else? Can we just win here? Maybe we just try to go for the win. Put our max down. Yeah, let's just put our max down. Maybe we get this, maybe not. I think he got us. It's close, though. Hmm, so close. That's what I said. That's what I said. <laughs> I'm going to say the hunted becomes the hunter. Let's get our moon cycling back and actually I want to get REM sleep in there. This deck is typically more of a late game deck too, so um, I kind of expect to lose round one while these moons are getting buffed up. So not the end of the world just yet. 
There's our Matt Mons, too. That helps. All right, let's get our goo back, and let's just go ahead and drop these two. Hold on to quartz, and we're not playing Mons, obviously. Ooh, good turn for him. 500. So we're going to be behind. Probably not going to win this round. So, yeah, he, Immortals might be a little too strong for this deck. We will see. This is my first time going up against Immortals with this deck, at least. I'm kind of thinking of just conceding this round here. Stockpiling my energy a little bit better. Yeah. Hmm. Do we just play lobotomy? I think we do. I think we just do that. Don't think I'm winning there. I need. I would have needed five hundred, two fifty, three fifty. Yeah, it wouldn't have been enough. So that's fine. Yeah, good game. Good game, sir. You probably gonna get it. That's all right though. So we don't mind. All right, we did not draw our item for our rose court, so we're just going to go ahead and play it out. It just didn't pan out well for us. I don't want to keep holding it either. Okay. Off to a little bit of a lead. Loki taunts me. Alright, let's drop this 261. This might get him back in the game here. He's probably dropping 400. Yep. I was going to say the way he says, sorry, I'm, <laughs> I'm expecting a big turn here. All good, man. No surprise when you're playing Immortals. No surprise. But that's what we want to see. All right, we're down 237. Let's see if we get a good draw here. Not the best. He's definitely got us. Yeah. Pretty sure he's got us here. But we'll play our max. <laughs> Nicely done, Mr. Vortex. Wish I could have done a little better there for you, but... Just couldn't stack up with the Immortals, man. That's why everybody plays it. All right, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the deck and the video. Nice quick one for us tonight. But, uh, all right. Thanks for watching. Have a good night, guys.